a gorgeous day. Rainbow Dash must have gotten up early for once and cleared all the clouds away. I bet all of Ponyville is going to be out enjoying the sunshine. What? Where is every pony? <gasps> Is it some sort of pony holiday? Not that I know of. Does my breath stink? <sighs> not more than usual. Is it zombies? Uh, not very likely. Not likely, but possible? Psst. Twilight! Spike! Come here! Come here! Hurry! Before she gets you! Zombie Pony? Zombie Pony? <laughs> Spike, there are no zombie ponies. Pinky, what are you doing here alone in the dark? I'm not alone in the dark. <gasps> okay, then, what are you all doing here in the dark? We're hiding from her. Well, I saw her glance this way. Glance evilly this way. And then a bunch of you flip out for no good reason. No good reason? You call protecting your kin no good reason? Why, as soon as my sister saw Zakora riding into town, she started shaking in her little horseshoes. Did not. So I swept her up and brought her here. I walked here myself. For safekeeping. Applejack, I'm not a baby. I can take care of myself. Not from that creepy Zakara. She's mysterious. Sinister. that out? Just look at those stripes. So garish. She's a zebra. A what? A zebra. And her stripes aren't a fashion choice rarity. They're what she was born with. <laughs> born where? I've never seen a pony like that in these parts. Except her. Well, she's probably not from here, and she's not a pony. My books say that zebras come from a faraway land, but I've never seen her in Ponyville. Where does she live? That's just it. She lives in the Everfree Forest. Bye! Uh, sorry. The Everfree Forest just ain't natural. The plants grow, animals care for themselves, and the clouds move all on their own. <laughs> and that wicked enchantress Sakura lives there doing her evil stuff. Oh, she's so evil. I even wrote a song about her. Here we go. She's an evil enchantress. She does evil dances, and if you look deep in her eyes, she'll put you in trances. Then what will she do? She'll mix up an evil brew, and then she'll gobble you up. Wow, catchy. It's a work in progress. This is all just a lot of gossip and rumors. Now tell me, what exactly have you actually seen Zakora do? Well...
beware, beware, you pony folk. Those leaves of blue are not a joke. Y you keep your creepy mumble jumbo to yourself, you hear? Yeah. Was that supposed to scare us? We can all see that. And a big thing to do. Oh, brother. Beware, beware. And you, why couldn't you just listen to your big sister? Uh, I... Who knows what kind of nasty curse the Cora could have just put on you? Just like in my song! People and children, with the dances, and the trances! You guys, there's no such thing as curses! Well, that's interesting to hear coming from this magic plant herself. My magic, real magic, comes from within. It's a skill you're born with. Curses are artificial, fake magic. It's conjured with potions and incantations. All smoke and mirrors meant to scare. But curses have no real power. They're just an old ponytail. Just you wait, Twilight. You're gonna learn that some ponytails really are true. Dream. Curses, schmurses. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe Zakora cursed my hair. <laughs> or she cursed my horn! No, 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 no! None of these books have a cure! Ugh, there has to be a real reason for this! An illness? An allergy? A curse! I said a real reason. Something that points to something real. How about this one? Supernaturals? Spike, the word supernatural refers to things like ghosts and spirits and zombies, which are as make-believe as curses. This book is just a bunch of hooey. But what if you're wrong, Twilight? What if this really is a... <laughs> a purse? How could it be a purse? Pinky, what happened? Say it, don't spray it, Pinky. I'm afraid I have to agree. <laughs> Fluttershy seems just fine. Yes, there doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with her. Fluttershy? Are you okay? Is there something wrong with you? Would you care to tell us? So, you're not gonna tell us? Yes, you're not, or yes, you will. Good gravy, girl! What's wrong with you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious! <laughs> Look at all of you. We got Harity, Rainbow Crush, Spitty Pie, Apple Teeny. Flutter Guy, and... Uh... I got nothing. Twilight Sparkle. I mean, seriously, I can't even work with that. <laughs> this is no joke, Spike. Now start looking for more books so I can find a cure. I think we'll find a cure to this curse at Zakora's place. It's not a 
my curse. I agree with Dash. We'll go to Zakoris and force her to remove this hex. It's not a hex either. This is all my fault. If I hadn't followed Zakori in the first place, none of this would have happened. I just gotta fix this. Now, where does she think she's going this time? I don't care what you say, Twilight. It's time to pony up and confront Zakora. Come on, girls. Are you with me? I am. And I as well. Oh, I don't know. Seems awfully dangerous. <laughs> Applejack? Uh, Applejack? She's blind! Ah! Oh, some pony stepped on her! Or sat on her? Oh! Oh, oh Pinky, what are you doing? Uh, really? Uh, you are in a personal space? No! Bloom is gone too. I bet they went after Zakora. Well, we better go find them. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, this is so unseemly. Oh. Hey, a little help here. Oopsie. Sorry. Ow. Uh, spike. Let's see, let's find the chorus voice. The egg or a the no, uh, no, not that thing. No, it's a phone now. That fight. House tree. I guess. Um. Here it is. That voice. No! No! You can't ignore a direct order from your big sister! <laughs> Sorry, Applejack, but I'm the big sister now. Apple Bloom, you come back here right this instant! I'm gonna tell Big Macintosh on you! Oh, pony feather.
Oh my, that place really does look horrible. Nice decorations, if you like creepy. <gasps> Wakati morning halam way waga bati halumba. She stole your song? Oh, Pinky, doesn't sound anything like your song. Uh, hmm. <sighs> She's an evil enchantress and she does evil dances. And if you look deep in her eyes, she will put you in trances. Then what will she do? She'll mix up an evil brew. Then she'll gobble you up in a big tasty stew. So, watch out. You saw those terrible things. Now do you believe us, Twilight? Scary looking masks, confusing incantations, and a great big bubbling cauldron? Oh, everything is pointing to Zakora being bad. Or, what if Sakura's just making soup? Mmm, the perfect temperature for ponies, I presume. Now, where is that little apple bloom? Or, what if she's making apple bloom soup? What if she's making apple bloom soup? What have you done with Apple Bloom? No! No! Ponies, what is this? No! You know not what you do! You've gone and spilled my precious brew! We're on to you, Zakora. I didn't want to believe that you cursed us, but the evidence is overwhelming! You made me look ridiculous! You made me sound ridiculous! <laughs> you ruined my horn! How dare you! You destroy my home, destroy my work, then rudely accuse me of being a jerk? It is unwise to venture down this road. Your actions will make my anger explode! Where is Apple Bloom? <clears throat> for Beware, beware, you pony folk. Those leaves of blue are not a joke. It was a warning about that blue plant. It's called Poison Joke. 
That plant is much like poison oak. Two hours later. But its results are like a joke. What in the hay does that mean? It means this plant does not breed wrath. Instead, this plant just wants a laugh. Will some pony please talk normal? I think what she's saying is that when we ran into Save Apple Bloom, we ran into the poison joke. All our problems are just little jokes that played on us. Enchantress has cursed them all! Dear Princess Celestia, my friends and I all learned an important lesson this week. Never judge a book by its cover. Someone may look unusual or funny or scary, but you have to look past that and learn who they are inside. Real friends don't care what your cover is. It's the contents of a pony that count. And a good friend, like a good book, is something that will last forever. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Miss Sakura, I would love to get the recipe for this bath. It's simply luxurious. Applejack! Hey, where's Applejack? Oh, I have never felt so lovely in all my life. Oh my gosh, I never realized how horrible it is not to be able to talk. I mean, I love talking so much, and when I couldn't talk anymore, my tongue was all, eh, it was the worst. Ha 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 ha!